added the chores tab as well as the meal plans tab. So we're going to go over those two today. Chores are really neat. I have already kind of checked into it today, so I'm going to go over that. There's the daily chores here, weekly chores, and monthly chores. Now I want to say, like right off the bat, not everything in here you might not be able to use. Like, um, I live in an apartment and there was the outdoor section, but I don't have any outdoor chores that I need to do. Like, it was like, um, I don't know, rake the leaves and clean up the driveway and like things that I don't have. So like right now, while I'm using this, I just decided to <clears throat> put a sticker over it. That way I could write in my own chores that I need to do. So I put for outdoors, trash to the curb, because these are weekly chores, trash to the curb and clean out the car because Lord knows I'm a mess. Um, daily chores like make the bed, I never do, <laughs> meal prep, wash di dishes, wipe counters, declutter, laundry, vacuum sweep, trash, water plants, I don't have any, and five minute pickup. So most of these I don't do. And that is the real reason why I bought the household pack because I, my husband does everything. I'm just going to be real. Like he does much more than I realize. And I only figured this out because he was sick last week or two weeks ago. And I mean, so sick, he had that virus that's going on and I had to do everything. I know, like feel sorry for me. Um, it, it was, it was okay. I lived. <laughs> But I realized how much he does on a daily basis that I don't and, and I want to start helping out. So that's why I got this household pack because I think it helps you be more intentional about doing stuff around the home. And right now I'm not really a homebody. So I feel like this is going to really help me get back into that track. Okay, so that was the daily chores. The weekly chores, they have bathroom, kitchen, floors, outdoors, surface and glass, bedrooms, and household. Now, I only have one bathroom, so it's pretty simple to take care of, but for kitchen and floors, my goodness, these are that's a long list, and I think that's good. Like, how many times do leftovers go moldy in my life on a weekly basis? So the idea of to purge the fridge and to tidy things up and to wipe the appliances off, like... I think this is going to be really great. And then floors, that's just a good reminder. I put in the outdoor section to take trash to the curb. That's a Monday night thing. And to clean out the car because we travel a lot. And I'm just going to be real. There are snacks and soda cans and, I don't know, water bottles. There's everything just thrown all over inside the car. So I just need to make that a weekly chore. Surface and glass. Dust surfaces, wipe appliances, clean glass, wipe doors, wipe door facings, and spot clean walls. <sighs> Y'all, I, I, I don't do this. <laughs> like, I, I don't care. I, I'm just going to be real. I don't care about these things at all. I could care less if my glass is slightly dirty or if my door facing is dirty. So I'm going to just try this for a month. I'm going to try and do all these weekly chores and see if suddenly, man, I really do like it when my glasses are clean or my, my mirrors and windows are clean and I like it when my walls seem shiny. I don't know. Like I'm going to try it. Next is bedrooms. Like I do most of these actually like changing the sheets, tidying the closet, um, vacuuming, dresser, like I do most of that already. So that's not like a huge jump for me. And then household, I, this is me. I do this stuff all the time. Sharky, my husband does not do this stuff like at all. So I feel like, ha ha ha, I've got him. <laughs> so household is sort mail, file documents, pay bills, banking, sort the receipts, update the planner, review budget, 
male birthday cards and green cards. So, like, I am, like, A plus in this category. These ones, I got a big ol' F. So, um, monthly, we've got bedding, cleaning the baseboards and the trim, rugs, furniture, trash can. And not just taking the trash out. This is monthly, so disinfecting your trash can. If you do that, leave me a comment in, the, in below. Tell me how you do it. Do you, like, what do they mean by this? Should I, like, get some Giddy Up 409 and spray the junk out of it? Or are they talking, like, Lysol? Or, like, can I just, like, and then we're done? What really entails disinfecting a trash can? Because I have never done that before. Okay. Kitchen cabinets, wiping them down. I need to do that. Walls, windows, sills, and switch covers, clean those off, cleaning your fridge out, purging clothes, like whatever her name is, Marie Kondo, or Con whatever this new lady is who tells you to get rid of things in your house. <sighs> She's a better woman than I am. We'll just leave it at that. Appliances. Clean interior and exterior of dishwasher, washer, dryer, stove, oven, etc. So anything that's big, clean it. What I'm getting from this month, like from the monthly, is that you should just clean all the things. Um, and outdoor spaces, <clears throat> excuse me, declutter and tidy garage, patios and deck. So those are your chores and, they're, and you might have some extra ones. So they've left you space here and there's space in these um, or if you don't like it you can change it like I did it's your planner you can do what you want if you're like I hate monthly chores altogether girl get you your favorite planner book or sticker book find you some stickers and cover it up <laughs> put you some flowers and uh, some big old hokey dots I don't know find make your planner how you want make this make you happy. It's a happy planner for a reason. Because when you look at this, it's not supposed to spark anger. It's supposed to spark joy, right? Like if we're going to start cleaning our life up and we're going to start cleaning what our, our, what's around us up, then when we come to our planner, we shouldn't be frustrated. Like, oh, now I got to like clean the trim. Like make this yours. When you come to this, be like, oh, okay. I, what did I do today? I did the bedding. So now you come over onto this side where your monthly chores are. You go to bedding and you mark that off. Like today, I've already made the bed. Meal, I haven't meal prepped. I've washed dishes, wiped my counters, and I cleaned my table. I got to take my handy dandy little marker and I got to mark off those things. Now, I have not done the rest of the stuff today and there are weekly chores that need to be done. Tonight our trash goes out. I'm gonna clean our cars out from our trips. So there's stuff that I can do right now. But instead I'm, I'm showing you that you can do this too. Um, there's stuff that I can do and then when I'm done, I just get to mark it off. So don't when you look at this, it's, it's supposed to show you these are things you can do and then this is the stuff that you did. This is the stuff that when you look at it, you're like, I did this. This is awesome. Okay, like it gives you joy, right? Like I like to get to check all this off because it makes you feel like I've done something. And then again, if there's stuff on here that you don't like, you can just, you know, go over it with the Tombow, correct it out, or you could just add it to the bottom here, right in there. Okay, so that is the chores tab. There's, I think it comes with six months worth um, I'm just going to keep a month or two at a time. So that was chores. Now we're going to go into, sorry, I'm like making all the noise. Um, now we're going to go to meal planning. <clears throat> meal planning is something that I don't do. We eat out just about every day. So your girl here is going to have to also get some kind of fitness plan going. Um, because I, ugh. I need to start eating at home. We need to start eating at home. It says right here, some of the sweetest memories are made when gathered around the table. And I love that because 
my husband and I, we mostly eat in the car and it's not memorable. Like, I, granted, there are a couple times where we were being super goofy and I have memories of that, but I don't have memories really of sitting around with a fork and a knife unless we go out to like Texas Roadhouse. I don't have memories of us sitting at a plate around our table and enjoying a meal between just my husband and I and not 50 to 200 people sitting around us. So I really want these memories. I really want to start making those. So I feel like this meal planning part is going to help. Now, first on your left, you've got a quick reference for common kitchen substitutions. So like you're out of flour, you can you or cake flour, you can use all purpose flour minus two tablespoons. If you're out of evaporated milk, you can use light cream. Like it tells you if you're missing something or maybe you want to avoid something like if you are washing your salt and you want to not do salted butter, you can use margarine or shortening instead. So this is really cool to just kind of have around. I would actually, honestly, I would honestly buy the recipe planner, like the, the new one that just came out, and I would pop this in there. Like that's what I personally want to do now. Like it's probably going to be a thing. That way, when I'm putting together my recipes, or putting together my planning, I can pop those recipes right behind it. And then here's my common kitchen substitutions. So this is the weekly, this is what this looks like. Um, on the right here you have grocery list and it's got like little boxes where you can write it and then check out all. Um, it's not perforated, if you were wondering. You could, I don't know, I suppose you could cut this out or like, you know, if you wanted to and then you could take this to the store with you. I won't do that. What I'll do is I'll just take a picture. So what you do is you sit down and I'm going to try and do this today, like on Mondays, and write out what we're going to eat for the week. Now that might include like, okay, Tuesday I have Bible study. Oops, wrong one. Tuesday I have Bible study. So I'm probably not going to eat at home. I'm probably going to go out. But if I write this down, I know Tuesday, going out. Wednesday, we're going to have chicken. Thursday, we're going to have beef. Friday, we're going to go to my family's house. Like, if you have a plan of in, in front of you, you're going to miss... Uh, not miss. You're going to avoid frustration. I will be honest with y'all. My husband and I fight about two things. Wanting to buy a house and what we're going to eat. It goes a little bit like this. What do you want to eat today? I don't know. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Just pick something. No, you just pick something. Oh my gosh. Pick something or we're not eating. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like this is, this goes every stinking day of our lives we fight about what we're going to eat. So I'm going to try and remove that from our relationship. I'm going to try to be better about having a plan, sitting down on Monday, saying this is what I would like to do this week. When my husband comes home, I can be like, hey, are you cool with all this? Do you have a suggestion? Instead of um, having chicken today, would you like to have beef? Now, realistically, he's going to be like, no, this looks great. Cool. This is what we'll do. But what I'm going to do instead is here's my weekly planner. I'm just going to get out my happy notes book and I will write, let's flip. oh my goodness, I use my notebook. I'll just write my own Monday through Sunday on here, like before my husband comes home. And then we can like go through it and he could say, well, I don't like this. I don't like this, whatever. And then when I'm done, I can transfer that to here because I don't want this to look like a mess. I'm not a perfectionist. I just like it to look pretty. That's it. Okay. So over here, like I said, you've got your grocery list so you can write the stuff that you need once you have it written down here. Like, okay, I'm going to need chicken. 
So you write it down on your grocery list there. On the back side, we've got a continuation of the grocery list over here. And we've got snacks and quick bites and recipe and meal prep. Now, say you're gonna do recipes Monday through Sunday. You're gonna cook at home. And you're gonna try some new stuff. That's why I'm thinking I wanna pop this, this whole pack in, or not pack, but this meal plan tab into the recipe planner because then I'll have more space for that. But if I'm only gonna do like Thursday, I'm gonna try a new recipe, then I can write that right here. Or if I know um, on Tuesday, like I'm just thinking of this right now, instead of going out to eat on Tuesday, I could just start a crock pot. So while we're having Bible study, my food could be cooking and then as soon as we're done, we can eat. So that, that's just, that would be something that I would write here, like meal prep, Tuesday, start crock pot at five. So that is that, and what I've done is I've just put um, four of these in here, so a month's worth of weekly meal planning, and that's it. That is that is what I've added from the household pack. Now there are other tabs that you can add. This is just what I wanted to add right now. This is what I feel comfortable with. This is something that I'm challenging myself to do right now. And then of course I have right after that my monthly for March. So thanks for watching the video today. I'm sorry that it's a little off. I'm going to try and get a better, I don't know, microphone. I'm going to try and get better as this is, I'm new to this. So if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the, like the comment section below. I just, I want to show you guys what's available and what I'm doing because I'm, I'm on the journey with you. I'm not perfect. I don't have this all figured out right now, but I'm actively trying to get better. I'm gonna try and help my husband out more and try and get better and be more healthy about being intentional about making plans and, and having food at home. This is what I'm doing in my life, so I just wanna share it with you. But if you have any suggestions, like maybe you wanna see the rest of the pack or maybe you wanna know how to sticker this up, like. Let me know what you think. Um, that's all I've got right now. I'm going to start putting out videos pretty often. I'm, I'm looking at three times a week to begin, and then I'm going to start putting out videos maybe every day. I don't know. I'm going to see what my schedule allows, but at least I'm just telling you right now, you will see me at least three times a week. So I hope if you like this and you want to see more of this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that way I can just pop up in your inbox and let you know that, hey, there's a new video, come hang out. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.